gentlemen, thank you for coming this afternoon. And welcome for doing so. We much appreciate your patronage and enjoy your company as well. Nancy Fletcher, who teaches art here to grade two and three students. And behind me, you'll see a panel of the students' art that makes up a key component of our show. There is another individual who has been contributing too significantly, and that is a, a fellow who's just joined the GNS staff, whose name is Daniel Mann, and he's the curator that's helped us set up and make this show run. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored today, on your behalf and my own, to introduce Mr. Thomas Vesey, who is governor of the Glenlion Norfolk School Society. Good afternoon and welcome to Glenlion Norfolk School. It's really good to see people here in the flesh and blood after too many months, too many years of isolation and social distancing. The Sketch Club has been meeting here every year for its show since 1974, up and regularly up until the pandemic. I found out, like many other people found out, that the pandemic was a perfect opportunity for procrastination. Uh, eating too much, drinking a little bit too much wine, watching a lot of old stupid TV shows that I should never have watched in the first place. But now we're back, and um, one of the, I can report, as you can see around you, that one of the most, one of the things that didn't stop during the pandemic was the completion of what we like to call a transformation of the GNS Beach Drive campus, and we're glad that you can be here. Bounce ideas off each other, be inspired by each other. I understand that the Sketch Club is actually oldest, started in 1909, and it's apparently the oldest art club in Canada. I like GNS, I'm sure that the, the, uh, the Sketch Club is still young and vibrant and renewing itself at all times. Art is very important to GNS. To some students it's vitally important. Some students I'm sure would not get up and go to school if it wasn't for, for art. And art opens up a whole world of opportunity to, to students. We are very grateful for the work that the Sketch Club members have been doing up until interrupted by the pandemic in, in working with our students and hope that it can continue. In the meantime, we're very glad that the show goes on, and I'm looking forward to seeing all the work that everybody here did while I was doing hardly anything during the last two years. Thanks very much. Um, I am Kevin Murdoch, I'm the Mayor of Oak Bay. I do want to acknowledge that we're gathering on the traditional territories of the coast of the Strait Salish people, specifically the Kungan speaking people know it today as the Songhees and the Esquimalt Nations. I also just want to thank the, uh, the Sketch Club for putting this together. I will say at a personal level, I have really missed the show and I've really missed the opportunity to get together as people. Uh, we have a lot of masks on still, but we're slowly moving away and it's nice to see faces, nice to see smiles, and it's, a, uh, it's wonderful just to see you all here tonight. So, art is an incredibly important part of any community. It binds, brings people together. Thank you so much for having this event again. I'm Vicki Turner and I'm the Communications Director of the Victoria Sketch Club. And this show that you're looking at right now will be held at the Glen Lyon Norfolk Junior School Gymnasium at 1701 Beach Drive through this coming Sunday, March 27th at 4 p.m. Uh, the Victoria Sketch Club is had very many exhibitions over the years. Uh, the Sketch Club is 113 years old and our last exhibition was three years ago due to COVID. Um, this year we're very fortunate to be in this new venue at the school and we've been able to hang 149 paintings this year. Um, I think over 30 have already sold in the first 24 hours. And But there'll be other days, three, four more days for people to come and have a look. And uh, there was no stipulation as to what kind of painting you had to have, or whether it be oil, watercolor, or acrylic. Uh, the members all decided what they would like to do. And I think there's an incredible representation of many different genres and many different subjects. And uh, it's been extremely well organized. We're a volunteer organization. 
course, it's taken a lot of volunteers to put the show together. And even now, there are volunteers from the club, artists, of course, who have paintings in the show, that are here working a shift. There's three, or three different shifts a day in different positions. So everybody's doing their best to make it work, and um, I'm so happy that we've had such a great turnout so far. We had over 200 people last night, which is a record breaker, and today is breaking all records on attendance. So there's still plenty of time to come down before Sunday at 4 o'clock, and we hope to see you here. Uh, there's biographies of all the different artists, uh, there's exhibition works by the students of Glen Lyon. Uh, there's an exhibition on past members of the club who are no longer with us. And I think that there's really something for everybody here. So you're very, very welcome and we'd love to see you. Should all the Clintons be forgot and never brought to Should all the Quintons be forgotten?